We got a Nintendo Direct bright and early today, and here are the announcements I'm most excited for. There were so many good ones. New Fire Emblem, blue and red. Just kidding. Uh, Pokemon joke aside, I'm so excited for more Fire Emblem after trying Three Houses a few years ago. I hope there's more tea time in between battles. It looks like it. And the Divine Edition, which is their collector's, collector's edition, was also announced. It looks awesome. I can't wait. Fail Frame Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. I remember being so scared as a child and not being able to play this game. I will be able to redeem myself. And if you haven't tried it, this is your chance now too. Tunic is coming to Nintendo Switch. This is a title full of secrets and mystery and just... It's one of the best games of 2022. If you have not gotten a chance to play it, pre-orders begin today and it comes out September 27th. Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. Holy crap. Harvest Moon, It's a Wonderful Life is a staple to my childhood. This is a GameCube classic and coming to Switch. And I love it because in this version, there is aging with you and your family and the villagers. It's going to be great. Summer 2023. Bay Farm is a fairy tale meets farming sim meets RPG game. And I am very intrigued. You discover spells, you grow crops, you uh, explore and combat fantastical creatures. Most importantly, you can team up with parties of four. You can decorate your home and you can wear fairy wings. New Pikmin. Pikmin 4 was announced. We didn't get much other than it's coming in 2023. Ah, my heart. We also got another look at Harvestella, focusing on the Quietus, which is the season of death and looks like winter uh, in the game. And they did announce, most importantly, that there is a demo coming later today in which the save data will transfer to your launch save if you want to buy the game. That's pretty exciting. I'll definitely be playing it. Crisis Core Final Fantasy Reunion. This is another title that I just haven't gotten to play. And as a huge Final F Fantasy VII fan, I can't wait. And last but certainly not least, it seems like we've gotten what many of us were waiting for, which was a teaser for the Breath of the Wild sequel. It looks like it's titled The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I got chills just with the music, seeing Link diving through the sky. And while the footage was short, the main detail to point out is it looks like it's coming May 12th, 2023. These are my highlights. What about you? This was this was a packed showcase with new announcements, lots of nostalgia. I'm really excited for the months ahead. Uh, the Switch continues to be my console of choice for games, and I can't wait to discover them all and share them with you. So let me know what you think.